Hello. Today I want to go over stats. More stats, right? We all want to know how the different stats on the artifacts affect our characters, right? Um, I did a bunch of testing, and we're looking at a bunch of the clips, and I'll put up um, a spreadsheet or something at the very end to, to explain everything again all on one, one screen. Basically, we've got different things. I have just put up a video, uh, Artifacts 101, that goes over the different stats you can find on specific artifacts. For instance, you're always going to have a base HP primary stat on your feathers, flowers, and then on your feathers, it's always going to be attack. And then on your timepieces, that's the only place you're going to be able to find energy recharge. This is the only, the cup is going to be the only place to find elemental damage and physical damage, crit, and um, healing bonus are only going to be on your crowns, right? So like, what's the difference from attack versus elemental damage? Is what's what's going to be stronger? Does it affect? Does attack affect your elemental? Does does elemental only affect your elemental? The other thing that we're going to look at is set bonuses. So, Braveheart gives you an attack, two piece attack plus eighteen percent. Gladiator does the same thing, and so does uh, the the Sojourner gives you a two piece attack plus eighteen. Do they stack? Can you have two two pieces of of plus eighteen attack? Uh, martial artist gives you a two piece bonus of fifteen percent normal attack bonus. Attack percent, normal attack bonus, two-piece bloodless, gives you physical damage. What does this all mean? How does it affect all your stuff? What happens when you combine them? Going forward, what I did, I'm going to show you some gameplay of me testing it out. I'll have numbers on the screen. Um, I, I saved up, I did this like two weeks ago when I had a bunch of blues before I started leveling things up. And so what I did is I made sure that when I was testing um, attack percent, or elemental damage percent, or any of the set bonuses, none of the secondary stats or the primary stats on the gear have any kind of attack on them. So the first clip here is going to be me butt-ass naked using this character with just this weapon. Base attack, energy recharge. There's no modifier on here. The talent, after damaging an opponent with an elemental skill, the skill has a 60% chance to end its own cooldown. So again, nothing on here is going to affect it. And so the whole time, I'm going to be using just the character, this weapon, and then when I change up an artifact for either attack percent or elemental damage percent, that's the only, I have one piece on, and then when I'm doing the set bonuses, I'm naked except for the two pieces, and then when I get to martial artist, I actually run um, four piece. And then when we test the double attack percent, I have four pieces, two, two for each two, two piece set. Here's me butt-ass naked. All right, so the point of that was so we could see what our base damage is going to be with white numbers and blue numbers. Blue numbers are elemental. Chong is unique because when you activate his skill, and when you're inside of this circle, you are now doing, you'll see that my swipes are blue. I'm doing elemental damage. When I come out here, they're yellow. Because that's normal damage. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at me wearing one piece of attack percent gear. Which means I'm wearing an artifact that has attack percent as its primary stat, and nothing down in the secondary is attack related. If I get a critical chance, I do in a couple of these clips, I rerun the four hit combo again just to get a, a flat number. Alright, so if you notice, the attack percent was a 5.2% increase to attack, but the damage actually only increased 4.5-ish percent. Because the attack percent increases your base attack value. Next, we're going to go ahead and put on um, a cup that has cryo damage, which is also a 5.2% cryo damage increase.
All right. We noticed that the white numbers, the basic damage, didn't increase, obviously, because there was no attack value being added. It was just increasing the cryo damage. So after my skill was activated and I was fighting inside of the blue circle and the blue numbers were popping up, it was a true 5.2% increase. So the elemental damage is a flat, after the fact, increase to your damage numbers, which is effectively stronger than attack percent. But it's only when you're applying that elemental damage. So... Take it with a grain of salt. Next, we're going to run um, a two-piece martial artist, which is going to give us, if you look over on the right-hand side, two-piece increases normal attack and charged attack damage by There we go. So the normal attack, the white numbers, and the elemental attacks, the blue numbers, both increased by 15%. So normal attack affects your elemental damage as well and your normal attacks. Next, we're going to check out a two-piece bloodless, which is going to give you physical damage plus 25. <laughs> And there we go. So this one, this one blew my mind a little bit. So physical damage is 100% just your white damage numbers. The moment I activated my skill and was standing inside of my cryo circle and doing cryo damage, I had no increase. I was getting a flat actual 25% increase of white numbers and no increase at all. It's like the physical damage didn't even exist um, when I was inside the circle. So food for thought, I haven't tested it with other characters, but I imagine any character that is inside that circle, like Razor, who f is focused heavily on physical damage, all of that stuff is negated. Same thing if you have a weapon that has physical damage bonus. I haven't tested it yet, but I bet you the physical damage on that weapon is ignored as well when you're inside that circle. So I do have another video coming out that I'm going to work on. I'm going to test the same stuff. Um, and literally Razor... And Chong, as far as I'm aware right now, are terrible combos. You want to use Ice or Cryo with Razor, but based on that test, no, not those two together. No way. And then next we're going to test, just for fun, um, two-piece Bloodless for the 25% physical and a two-piece Martial Artist for the 15% normal attack bonus. <laughs> And just like we've been seeing, when they were combined, it's a total of 40% increase, right? So the white damage numbers were, in fact, 40% increase. But the moment I stepped inside the, the blue cryo circle, I lost the 25% physical damage, and I only had the 15% normal attack from Martial Artist. Also, side note, I haven't been mentioning it, but the skills, my skill damage has not been increasing with Martial Artist or... Bloodless. So normal attack damage and physical da attack damage does not affect your skill damage. But both the attack percent stat and the cryo, obviously the cryo percent um, stat did affect the skill damage. Next we're going to try a four-piece martial artist, which your two-piece gives you a flat 15% normal attack damage. And the four-piece, after using a skill, you get an additional 25% attack damage for eight seconds. So there you go. It was a little wonky, but it got the point across. Basically, I popped my 
skill down the circle, ran out of the circle, waited for them to come to me, missed my first swing, but the next two swings were indeed 40% combined. The eight seconds ran out, and that last hit was just the 15 for the two-piece. And then when I was inside the cryo circle, I was able to hit all four hits within, and it was also 40% increase. And then again, because it's normal attack, the skill impact damage hadn't increased either. So zero increase on the skill. All right, next we're going to run a two-piece item. I don't remember what I had on. It doesn't matter, but it was either a two-piece Braveheart, two-piece Gladiator, or two-piece Sojourner. They all give you a two-piece bonus of attack percent plus 18. <laughs> And there we go. So the white numbers and the blue numbers and the skill damage all increased by 16%. Yeah, it says 18%, but again, that's adding to your base attack value, not your attacks. Now let's see if you can run two two-pieces. So like a two-piece set of Braveheart and a two-piece set of Sojourner. So you can have two two-piece sets of attack plus 18%. <laughs> And there you go. So they do, in fact, stack. It wasn't giving us 36%, um, but it was giving us 32% um, increase. Again, same reason as, as before. It only increases your base attack value. But it also increased the skill damage, the cryo damage, and the standard white number damage. So currently on this character, I am running two Sojourner and two Braveheart. Now, this isn't the most optimal build. This video isn't about making a build for, for Chong. But personally, right now, when I had epics and not a lot of legendaries quite yet, I just felt that having an increase on every single thing that I did, my burst, my skill, the cryo damage, and the white number damage, all of it being raised, it was just the, the better option to go with. I am going to play around with four-piece Gladiator and then putting cryo damage on my cup here in the future, and we'll see what those numbers look like, if it's if it's valuable or not. They, um, there's only one legendary set, Gladiator, that allows you to get a attack plus 18. I don't know if it's worth keeping a two-piece epic set like Braveheart or Sojourner to make it worthwhile. I think the stats get so much higher on a legendary value that I'll have to find something else. Either go with a four-piece or a two-piece and maybe a skill damage. Not sure yet. Not sure what I want. All right, so here we are. I'll clean it up a little bit better and maybe make a, a graphic and put it in my Discord and, and tweet it out. But basically, these are all the this tests that we ran. I did it all on level 51 mobs, for what it's worth, just so consistency I wasn't finding a 53 or 50. It would have skewed the numbers. Basic damage when I was naked is right here, and the cryo damage when I was naked, and the skill damage when I was naked. This is when we put on one item stat of cryo percent, so on the cup, and then one cup with attack percent. And then two pieces of Martial Artist for 15% bonus. Two pieces Bloodless for 25% bonus. See, no increase, 25% increase. The negative 0.25, that's just part of the math. I don't put the extra numbers in there to reverse it and make it look pretty. I know what it means. So 0.25 is 25%. 0.15 is 15. 0 0.04 is 4, but 0 0.045 is 4.5%. 0%. 0 Here's the two-piece Bloodless, two-piece Martial Artist. Here's the two-piece attack plus 18%. Here's the double two-piece attack plus 18%. And here's the four-piece martial artist. You'll notice that the skills only increase on the attack, cryo stat, and attack stat. But all the other set bonuses do not increase the skill damage. So going back to what I said, this one right here, we had a 32 increase, 32% 32 increase on white numbers, 32% increase on cryo numbers, and a 32 increase on skill damage. So that's why I went with this for now. So hopefully that helps you guys understand what the stats are doing and how they're affecting 
physical damage and normal damage and attack percent. That was for the first month. No one could really answer it. They're like, oh, it's your white numbers. I'm like, but it, it, it's, it's, it's not. There's more going on. So there you go. Here you go. You're welcome. If it didn't help, sorry. If it did, good, because it helped me a lot. The only thing that's not on here is the four-piece gladiator, but that's all normal attack damage. And looking to see how normal attack damage was applied with martial artists with bloodless and by itself, I don't feel the need to test gladiator. Plus, I don't have four pieces of gladiator that don't have attack associated somewhere on them, so I can't test it yet anyways. So... As a friendly reminder, I stream daily over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash slygumby between the late night hours of 8 p.m. till about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's West Coast United States. You can follow me on Twitter at slygumby for news, updates, and goofiness. We've got a Discord. And links will be in the description below along with a ton of other Genshin videos. I'm adding to the list as I put out more videos. I'll start sectioning them out as we get more and more categories. And um, there's also some fun Genshin links down there. There's, there's databases. There's mock Opening of wishes. If you want to go open 100 wishes for fun, there's a link down there. The interactive maps are down there. And then we obviously have links up on screen to the playlist and most recent Genshin video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.